Oh, I don't even have any prepared statements. <laughs> All right. X sucks. Yeah, really. That's pretty much what you're going to be saying. This is bullshit, man. This is bullshit. Keep a, keep a counter on it, on how often I swear. This, it is bullshit of the highest caliber. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Just a second. <sighs> and that would be a theme song if this were being played in a fucking mental hospital. <laughs> no, <laughs> that would be. <laughs> I can't even come up with something because I know it's not going to be awesome. <laughs> it would be about as awesome as when you went epic clothes montage. Why did I do that? Um, <laughs> because you were goddamn bored. <laughs> it says a lot that I don't even know the motivation of stuff I did. <laughs> you you wanted to make an epic guitar riff for uh for uh, a mont uh, for a quote unquote clothing montage that was like two shots. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Just what the fuck, man? We should almost just bullshit around and call that the blog. Yeah. Really. We would really have nothing else better to say. It's just, this is just a random conversation with JVZO49 and Prometheus MFD for one hour. Alright. I'm game. We'll work in, like, a DLC rant and yeah. we'll right, call it if we're good. doing this, I'm turning on music. Don't have it too loud. I don't want to get nicked for copyright. Seriously, don't do it. That is not what I chose. <laughs> I could have sworn I chose something different. I did! <laughs> this is what I chose. I don't know if you can hear it over the sound of me hitting the computer against the TV tray. TV tray? Is that like a TV trope? No. This is not nearly as addictive. <laughs> it will not ruin your life nearly as much. Well, I wouldn't say that. Uh, well, I guess a uh, table tray thrown at your head will fuck you up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Freaking love Super Tramp now. I don't know why. They are awesome to me now. And they weren't. But now they are. And you have no explanation for this. Nope. I do not. <laughs> you just imagine Prometheus MFD after making that statement, the awesome face. <laughs> oh, he, pretty much say... wear, he pretty much wears that shit on a daily basis. <laughs> Dude. It's me. Everything is awesome. Even when it's not. Even when it sucks. <laughs> That's why I still own Duke Nukem Forever. Have you lost your goddamn mind? Dude, I never had it. With Duke Nukem Forever? Oh, seriously? It's finesse. Hope you find your paradise. Alright, I'll stop. Be glad you don't have to deal with this on a daily basis for <laughs> watching this. <laughs> That's our conversation. Hey, Prometheus. Hey, Jay Bizzo. Goodbye, stranger. Goodbye. Meet That's... again. <laughs> I just do one section stop so I can catch up with this song. That's <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, what, what the fuck part was this? <laughs> I was singing the beginning of the chorus in the middle of the chorus. Like, uh, no, this isn't right. <laughs> well, I was just singing bullshit. Mary, good morning. Will we ever meet again? 
uh, it's horribly off key. It's Seriously. horrible. Period. Our viewers have no idea how crazy I actually am. I tone it down for the blogs. Which makes people wonder about you. My parents don't wonder anymore. <laughs> they know. I'm air drumming. <laughs> it's like, who's going to know? Well, and I'm snapping like a boss. No, really, he's not snapping to the song. He's snapping to one of the voices in his head. <laughs> my family makes fun of the fact that no no one from my dad's side can keep rhythm. Did you ever see the movie The Jerk when he's trying to snap to the beat? It's like... I've seen The Jerk maybe, like, once, but I don't oh. remember a scene well, like that. Well, he can't... He can't snap to the beat. Huh. And it's it's really funny. And I'm not doing it justice by describing it. Fucking love Super Tramp. I can kind of hear it, and that could be problematic. Um. Well, post production will probably take it out. <laughs> Maybe it'll go over the the worrying of your fucking Starfighter Mac. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> it's not my Mac. You've seen my videos where we haven't uh, done noise reduction to take out the fucking Mac <laughs> doing whatever the fuck its $2,000 piece of shit is doing. Uh, to be fair, it is a six-year-old MacBook. So it's been a shit computer for about four years. <laughs> The music's getting louder. It's a, it's a six-year-old console. MacBook, so it's been a piece of shit for probably about eight years. <laughs> well, I'm gonna, I'm getting like two hundred dollars for babysitting for three days next weekend, and I'm getting money for house sitting for a full week, the week after. And so, with my two hundred that I have to my itself. Thing. That'll, that'll equal out about six hundred dollars, which is enough for a decent computer. Yeah, I mean maybe not Cause, because you're I, gonna go that route. I'm gonna get a computer that will be good for at least four years. But not like a true high end gaming desktop. First of all, there's nowhere I would put a desktop in this house. <laughs> like we have three rooms that aren't the kitchen living room and they're all occupied by shit i mean my my and honestly if i were get to get a desktop it'd have to be run directly through the modem because fuck you i'm not going to be gaming on a wi-fi signal <laughs> so it'd have to be in the office which is already occupied by the big ass tv my xbox my wii the n64 like a bed Three bookshelves. The uh, that's it. room could probably turn into a sauna without much change. Uh, dude, it is fucking hot in there all the time. It's on the south side of the house. Because it also has the modem and the Wi-Fi. And Indeedly so. The, the direct TV box. Whereas, to contrast my room, I've got my closet. I've got... Uh, container for my uh, socks and underwear. I got a nightstand, and I got my uh, keyboard and my guitar, and that's it. That's your lot. And, well, and the bed, but also some clean clothes on the floor. Cause fuck, I'm never gonna fold them. <laughs> I'm too fucking lazy to do that shit. Yeah, I should start folding them. I really should. It's like a two foot pile of clean clothes. <laughs> when you can jump in there and have it go up almost to your knees <laughs> it's like raking leaves <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh also I have the vacuum in here because I was supposed to vacuum it but fuck it <laughs> I, I only just this morning, got finished getting rid of all the boxes from my room. 
I managed to get those out on the curb right as the garbage truck was pulling in. So, uh, what you're saying is you actually timed it well. Yeah. There's a, you know, uh, a CRT television here from Germany <laughs> that crapped out about a month before we moved up here. That's your television, too! Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> no, my television, too, is back uh, with my parents. Is it... it it was free. It doesn't work. Well, I couldn't. That was get probably it to work. that was probably the most epic moment of that yeah. video. Um. Yeah, I left that in my collection of uh, novelty cups from the seventies and eighties, which I managed to come across and get for free, which was awesome. Because so of their stuff. So they're keeping that, and they're gonna sell it. And of course, I got them so I could sell them. Yeah. But I guess my plans are not going to be taken into account. So I could ask them to sell it for me and send me the money because I could use it to get a pretty good computer then. Indeed. What with the stuff and the other stuff? I mean, the laptop I was using lasted me, what, three years? Something like that. And now it's broken in half? <laughs> Though, to be fair, it's not... The the broken in half part came after it was irreversibly damaged, so... So, you so you break it in half and, uh... No, it, it got broken in half in the move. Oh. Uh, the, the guys who packed this up were not pleasant. I think I discussed this in an earlier blog. Yes, you did. Hmm. If you want to actually watch something where we talk about video games for some time, uh, click on the blog where, uh... Because where he does talk about the whole moving issue. Oh. Because we did talk video games then. That was hell. But, uh... Yeah, this, this year is definitely looking a bit light in video games and movies. I mean... I know the winter months are supposed to be kind of slow. Yeah. That's the nature of the industry, but compound that with this being a uh, generation transitional period. Yep. Hell, it's spring now. Yeah. Holy shit. Because I live in Florida, I never, it never really felt winter. <sighs> I, I believe I believe you uh, referred to it as wet and slightly less wet. Yeah. Or hurricanes and no hurricanes. <laughs> That's the only relevant fucking season. Or swarmed by bugs or swarmed by less bugs. <laughs> we did have a, uh, a morning dove make her nest and have her two children in the uh, tree in front of the kitchen. So I snapped off pictures of those a couple times. Because it's like right there. So how badly is Florida still killing your complexion? Uh, not as badly, mainly because exercise makes me sweat and sweat makes it so I can clean my pores. Indeed. I always murder on my complexion because you can exercise all the time. <laughs> Also, the fact that I didn't really exercise in Iowa. Because you spent all your time playing video games. Yep. Except sophomore year of high school, where I walked home 45 minutes at 8.30 at night, through, a, through knee-deep snow, along tra tra railroad tracks, with no light, every day, sophomore year. Why? Cause Except for the knee-deep in snow part. Yeah, well, knee-deep That wasn't was every day. Yeah, Maybe I half guess. of them. Yeah, at least. All through the winter. But, yeah, that's because we didn't have internet, so I just hung out at the library, used the computers there for all my, uh, interneting ne needs. And I actually, actually, my first few videos from, uh, my Fire Emblem playthrough were uploaded through those computers. Yes, they were. I remember that. You know, back when you still uploaded shit. Nostalgia. <laughs> and you had commentary equivalent to almost not having commentary. Yeah, I know. 
I, we we've definitely improved in these. Uh... It still isn't as bad as that one video that Chip Cheesem did. Oh, <laughs> that specific. Uh, <laughs> I can't remember what uh, what game he play uh, what game the guy was playing, but the guy said like they kept a word count. I know that. Really now? Yeah. <laughs> so it's the a a opposite of Corn Shack. Yes. <laughs> so we should have done that for Corn Shack. A word count? Get up in the multi thousands. <laughs> Did you say? Didn't you say that Korchak started talking at age five and hasn't stopped since? Well, yeah, because he 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 started talking at age five, and and thought to himself he needed to make up for that with interest. <laughs> with interest. Because goddamn, most kids, you know, I'm making shit up, but most kids talk when they're what, like two, two or three, yeah. I don't even know what song is playing, and I do not feel like getting up, walking all the way across the room, and checking my Zoom. Because fuck that shit. Yeah, really. Well, since I got nothing else better to do, let's put this in and discuss why Mario Party 8 is such a piece of shit. Oh, dude, my copy of Mario Party 8 got scratched. So, I, so, I so you put it in the month. microwave. Is it a yeah. good idea to microwave this? I, I put I put it in... I had... I had God, you're confusing me. I had uh, Mario Party 8 for about a month, and then it got scratched, and then I just never got a new copy, because it was such shit. Hopefully Mario Party 9 will be better. Well, that's out, and I'm going to get that probably next month. Noice. So Maybe I, I guess so I can give like a proper review. Well, let's look up the reviews now. Uh, uh, here we go. This is the one I was looking for. Review. This is, a, this is essentially a new file. So what the hell? Actually. Having Mario Party 8 be in radio form, pretty much, is probably more entertaining than actually watching it. Alright, the IGN review. Because, you know, that's the best review place ever. I always like to start with that for a, uh... For kind of a baseline for how bad it gets. They gave it a 7.0, which means they absolutely despised it. Right, because uh, is it I IGN uses the four point scale? Yeah. Anything so below an, is... anything below an eight is absolute shit. Yeah, of course it's IGN, so it's already biased against the Wii. Uh, let's see, one up. C. So who's more biased against the Wii, IGN or Zero Punctuation? Oh, IGN, hands down. Zero Punctuation at least likes games from the Wii. Or tolerates them. I know he didn't... I know he didn't, uh... He didn't totally destroy No More Heroes. Getting a 73% on Metacritic. So it's an okay game. Maybe. Well, I, I, I think the, uh... Main problem was it changed too much at once. Uh, I think that was a common complaint. Really? Ch a change is good, but not all this shit at once. I'm gonna play as Yoshi, because Yoshi is the fucking man. <laughs> Yoshi's a pimp. Yeah. I always play, it, play as Yoshi in the fucking Mario Party games. God damn, are things Mr. Welch is no longer to do in an RPG really up to two, at least 2,000? Uh, 
I will never do an actual playthrough of this game because it is shit. Plus, single player Mario Party is kinda boring. Dude, we need to get like two more people over and do four player. Or do like what Polka Captain did and just have just run through the just whole through, gambit. Through the whole thing. Just do one board from each game. Yeah, well a different board. Also, I don't know, do it differently. With like handicaps and shit. Like they kept track. Yeah. Uh, there. So the common complaint about Mario Party 8 is it is too slow, and it indeed is fucking slower than oh. molasses on dog shit. Isn't it supposed to be like molasses in February? <laughs> molasses on dog shit in February. There we go. <laughs> A more accurate analogy. <laughs> Ah, fucking hell. I noticed a lack of DLC for it, he segued. Um. <laughs> Segway. <laughs> Segway. <laughs> oh. Speaking of Segway, as, a t as I tangent off before I even get to the topic at hand, um, they have this cool new, like, wheelchair for paraplegics where it's not a chair. It holds them upright, and it's like standing, only, you know, wheels. But it's really cool. It's like an electronic wheelchair, but you're standing in it. Hmm. Which can really help paraplegics because you get you know, you have the you have to do the stand standing exercises and the machines for those are clunky or slow or you know, yeah, I can't cumbersome. Take more of this. <laughs> it's easy to it's easier to get into, you don't have to swing yourself into the chair and yeah. Five, five minutes in and I've quit. Nice. So anyway, uh, Mass Effect uh, 3 came out recently. Uh, a couple weeks ago. Fans came in in droves and... Uh, almost immediately someone found out that there was a character on disc that they were expecting players to pay for to be unlocked. Which, as you've heard me before, common complaint against DLC is that is exactly that that they they will limit on disc goods or they will cut things out just so that they can sell it to you later. You know, squeeze the consumer of all his cash. And honestly, it you know not very many cases of that, but they, when they it's notable that such a uh, monster game. Has uh, it has something like that. Yeah, and it it, it kind that. of bring it, it also brings in the notion of day one DLC. Yep, of course. Because that's because that uh, that that is a huge problem. Day one DLC doesn't necessarily mean they intentionally cut it out. In that it because they're done with the game. What, what like months before it's released? Probably about at, at least three or four. So, you know, they're going to continue developing, and if they manage to pump something out that's, you know, pretty bug-free, I don't want to say completely bug-free, because, you know, I like uh, Bethesda games, and they're not, they're notable in not exactly having, uh, no bugs. But anyway, if they can pump something out, and it's ready before, uh, the game is released, I'm perfectly fine with that. Now, you have companies that sort of do it right. Do Day One yes. DLC right. And I think Arkham City kind of hit that stride. Oh, dude. Pre they made it a pre-order bo bonus. Yes. That's perfect. And then they released it to everyone else later. Which makes but, sense. Yes. I mean, granted, some you know DLC uh, pre-order exclusives I'm fine with. Uh, but... 
But you gotta kind of take the good with the bad with that. The problem with day one DLC is that you you kind of run into a problem where as uh, where it can make the consumer not feel as brand loyal. No. Because essentially what you're saying is, we have this game, right? But we couldn't quite put this into the game. There could be a perception by the consumer, and perception is important. No matter how wrong it is, perception is important. Yep. Unfortunately. Is that there is a perception that it could have easily been worked into the retail game. When it which, can. Which, uh, which, in most cases, is absolutely unrealistic. To put it in perspective, the, you know, bringing this back, dating me a bit, uh, Mew, on Pokemon Red and Green, was added in when, uh, you know, guy behind it realized that the taking out the developer's tools meant they had enough room for one more Pokemon. So he just threw it in. Fuck it, throw it in. And the, it wasn't really bug tested. It, it really could have fucked with things. And that, when, after that was found out, it was a huge deal. Yes, it was. Of course. Back in... He, back in... Made, back in fucking 1990-whatever. 1994, 95? 95. 95 was when it was released in Japan. Yeah. And I believe I got the game in 98. That's when it was released here in the U.S. Yep. Dude, I was six years old. I was the king of the po of Pokemon on the playground. Because one, I am awesome at everything I do. And two, I was the only one with a link cable, so... Yeah. Stuff. Things. Speaking of Pokemon, Pokemon Black and White 2 has been announced. Indeed. It's going to... It's b instead of Grey. Yeah. So it's going to be a direct sequel, and Kyurem is going to be the focus, and it's going to have Black Kyurem and White Kyurem. And that's all I know. That's all pretty much anybody knows. Yep. I'd sing along with this song, but it's just a, an extended guitar solo. <laughs> and we've known how well attempted guitar solos by Prometheus MFD have gone. Okay, Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh. So that section had a bit of a blog feel to it. Of course. I really want to get uh, my GameCube back and a Game Boy player so I can play my Game Boy Advance games on it. And of course, that's after I get a computer and a, maybe a capture card. And... Now, the so real, I... now, the real answer is just to hack the Wii. <laughs> hack the Wii. Yeah. Of course, not all of us have three fucking Wiis. <laughs> God damn. Hey, dude, back when I got my Wii, oh, having shit. three would have been unprecedented. <laughs> Considering they were impossible to find then. Just flying off the shelves. Yeah. And yes, I do have three of them, so I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I have one <laughs> that's probably never going to ever read game discs ever again. Oh, did the, did the lens finally crap out? It's crapped out too many times for me to even bother to fix it. Yeah. Then one doesn't read uh, dual layer, and then one works. One works perfectly. Don't fuck with it. Indeed. <laughs> this is good! Do not touch it. You, you sterilize your hands and put on, you know, medical gloves... <laughs> for inserting, make sure the discs are nice and clean and not scratched. And... Indeed. I'd say you need to record Metroid, but you can't right now. I can't. <laughs> now you know how I feel. Except I have a semi-solution. Hmm. 
I am curious. Care to Next. share with the rest of the class? Next month. Okay. I just accept it. Okay. Ugh. Memes. Alright. Yeah, I need to get a new DS as well, because mine finally has stopped reading uh, DS games. DS cards? Yeah. Well, okay, it'll occasionally read them, but it's, like, really touchy, and if I move it the wrong way, it'll stop reading it, and it's just a pain in the ass. I've already had this DS repaired, like, three fucking times. The second time, they lost my copy of White, Pokemon White. Somehow. So I lost my, uh, pre-order Victini. But right now, I'm playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Soul of the Duelist, or whatever the fuck it's called. Whatever the fuck like, they're gonna call it this week. Uh, hold on, hold on, let me... I can pull up the name. It is... Right, Game Boy Loading Screen. Game Boy... Well, Game Boy Advance Loading Screen. Licensed by Nintendo. Konami. Come on. Konami Computer Entertainment Japan. Yu-Gi-Oh! The Eternal Duelist Soul, which is from, like, 2001. Fucking ages ago. That's before like, GX, isn't it? Yeah, this is the original Yu-Gi-Oh. This is like... Dude, this is from when, uh... The, uh... Battle City Tournament was going on. Holy shit. That was way fucking long ago. Mm-hmm. And I am the absolute king of it. Basically, I just run a mill deck, and it's like... They can't touch me anymore. <laughs> this song is so fucking loud. Oh. But yeah. Oh, Skype chat. <laughs> and such. Such a, such a gold mine. We really should just start taking our conversations from it, make it into a web comic or something. <laughs> well, you do that. I, I am no that. artist. Neither am I. Not since uh, I was a freshman in high school. And like half of half of what we say is out of context. Yeah. Too. Hell, you used to like give me fucking uh, given mangas. Out of context. Oh yeah, I'd either take a panel or an entire page, send it, you know, save it to my, save it from the reader and send it to him, and it's like, what the fuck? Usually it was from stuff like uh, Rosaria the Vampire or To Love Rue or some shit. Yeah, well, sometimes, sometimes it was innocent stuff taken out of context, and, and sometimes it was just wacky stuff like uh, mm -hmm. Hayate the Combat Butler. Because, fuck, that... Oh, postmodernism modernism is heavy in that show. <laughs> Manga shit. Thing. I love postmodernism. I'm trying to have a postmodernist life. So I'll randomly break the fourth wall, or, uh... Lampshade stuff, or... Order of Opponents in Pokemon Puzzle League. Gary, douche. Brock, <laughs> open your eyes, goddammit! Misty, shut up, you stupid bitch! Lieutenant Surge, that's the finale, kid! I don't even know what fucking accent that was. <laughs> I can't even read Erica's on this. <laughs> 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 Skip that. Koga, work harder, young one. Sounds like work harder, young fuck. <laughs> I can't clear some readers. <laughs> <laughs> When you're hot, you're hot! <laughs> Best insight in that I, game, by the way. I, I can say that all day. When you're hot, you're hot! <laughs> oh my god, I used to remember... I remember uh, seeing Pokemon Puzzle League and thinking, Damn it, that's awesome! I wish I had an N64 so I could play that. Until you realized yeah, it was fucking shit. 
<laughs> well, I didn't realize it's fucking shit until I saw it on Tom Bob Blender's stream. <laughs> so that was like, what, ten years later? <laughs> oh, fucking ridiculous. Giovanni, your world is wasting my time. <laughs> your world is wasting my time. <laughs> what were the two original folks? The world will be mine and you're wasting my time. That's it. <laughs> Lorelai's such a bitch. Yes, Lorelai is such a freaking troll. Which is weird, because in the... Sh I, I've mentioned this to him previously, but in the, sh in Multiple the show... Times. Lorelai, or I guess Prima, because fucking dub. <laughs> uh, I don't know what they were thinking with that. Was pretty much just kind of spacey. Kind of like somebody else I... The co-commentator we know and love. <laughs> Agatha and Lanza better, <laughs> better things to do with their time than the puzzle league shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, they aren't in the game. That's the only explanation, really. Yeah, really. Huh. <laughs> oh. Oh, we need to go. Uh, we need to look way back with these. Oh. Let's see. Let's go back one month. <laughs> I believe it can. It goes. It re saves it, everything, doesn't it? It can go back to the beginning. Chatted. I need to just do that. Like, what is it? Two years? No. Three, at least three, I think. Way too fucking long. Part a month ago, part six and seven of Skyward Sword are ready for your commentary. We uh, so we do it like two weeks later. <laughs> my my response is hmm, next week. <laughs> oh God. Uh, I'm just busy playing, uh, spoilers, the extra mode of Kirby's Return to Dreamland. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the context for Ass Effect 3. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Ass Effect 3, all the all same the shit. Same shit. <laughs> oh, that was brilliant. <laughs> I, I was on know. fire that day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, god damn. <laughs> this is... <laughs> this exchange. Testing Fisto in New Vegas is fucking hilarious. And by testing, you mean, er, actually, I don't, don't answer that. To be fair, FISTO is just an acronym for, uh, Fully Integrated Security Technotronic Officer. I thought it stood for, ah, fuck it, I can't be bothered. <laughs> Though you do canonically reprogram it to be a sex bot for a guy who totally doesn't want you to know he's into that. God <laughs> damn it, New Vegas. Really? <laughs> do you, do you, did you like my really bad impression of you? Probably slightly better than my nasally impression of you. <laughs> You're not laughing psychotically enough. <laughs> Seriously, I'm expecting to look around and see pa a padded cell. <laughs> oh. Oh, man. This is the part of the game that actually gives you a fucking challenge. The loading screen? <laughs> <laughs> no, fucking, uh, extra mode on, uh, Kirby's Return to Dreamland. Oh.
I needed that, didn't I? Son of a bitch. If I download a movie in Jamaica, will that make me a pirate of the Caribbean? <laughs> God. I had a teacher in high school who, who was convinced I could access the internet with my T... Oh, college. With my TI-85 Platinum. Not high school. <laughs> college instructor that was convinced I could access the internet with my TI-85 Platinum calculator. <laughs> I did have Pokemon on it, though. That didn't help. But that, but I guess that's kind of like saying I have Doom on my calculator. I mean, just everyone does. 99 on the evil overload list is any important data file will be padded to 1.5 megabits. Make that 12 terabytes and you have the modern version. <laughs> Indeed. You do horrible bass lines as well? I also can't sing the Who either. I'm, I'm just the gambit of awesome traits. <laughs> and I don't talk without yelling! <laughs> You'd think I'd be the one. Yeah, that well, can't talk without yelling. You get angry. You can do angry. I can't. I just do slightly less awesome emotion. Because awesome is Sli an emotion. Slightly, slightly less amused. Yes. Like you have two. You have two states: amused and slightly <laughs> less amused. I'm like the weather in Florida. <laughs> Like but, the uh, contrast on the GameCom, black and slightly less black. <laughs> but if you go back to our uh, rant about the YouTube new YouTube layout, I could not read worth shit. Okay, I'm done. No, I'm not. I'm gonna just start that up later anyway. You all know it. <laughs> Huh. I'm just reading through our old Skypes. <laughs> and all the random shit. Let's see. Just gonna keep reading through those? Yeah. <laughs> Not gonna contribute to the blog, I'm just gonna read what we were saying, trying to find something to pair it into the blog. Of course. Oh, yeah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Actually, they, uh, they did change that up at, after, uh, I believe, starting with part 27. Well. Because the guy didn't feel like typing that many U's, G's, and H's. <laughs> it's only 150 total. <laughs> well... <laughs> make golden nipples. <laughs> there's actually total. If you want to total it up across the 50 parts, uh, hell of a lot yeah. more than 150. Aren't you the one who's taking accounting classes? Yes. Fuck that, I'm going to be a writer. Because that Writers still totally that. makes sense. <laughs> you totally Fuck have that. the lo most legit career choice possible. Yeah, I know, that's, that I'm totally going to be able to live off of that. <laughs> that's why I'm getting a computer science degree. Well, I was, I'm not right now. College is fucking expensive when you stick around in high school. 
Indeed. When is my stereo just turning up by ghosts or something? Because I swear to God, I did not have this have it this loud when I started playing music. Uh, magic. Yeah, wizard did it. <laughs> or my stereo just recognizes good music and turns it up to uh, accommodate it as such. I mean, li listening listening to classic rock quietly. It's like punching Van Gogh while he's painting. It, just, it doesn't work. I don't know where I, how I went there with that analogy, but I did. Whoa, holy shit. Oh, you know what I found today? An internet cafe. Hmm. I did not think, think those still existed outside of Korea. Outside of Korea. What the fuck? Ow. What the hell? Stupid game. <laughs> what? Talking What'd about you find? Sky sneaking in Skyrim. Sneaking is such bullshit. So in Skyrim, there's a dagger called the Blade of Woe. 21 base damage, highest of any dagger in the game. With a maxed out smithing skill, no potions or anything, it can get up to 60 damage. There's a perk called Backstab. It can do up to 15 times damage when maxed out, as long as you successfully sneak up to them before killing them. This is doubled with the Dark Brotherhood gauntlets. Be but since sneaking is such a bullshit, this makes it so the damage can reach 1800 plus without enchantments and potions, by the way, with enough patience can get anything infinitely powerful due to a design oversight. To note, the strongest enemy in the game has 2,355 HP. To kill... If you plan your character right, seeing as how you can get armor that turns you invisible while sneaking, making sneaking broken is all hell in the late game. So you really need to, you really need to stop cramping reptile stuff. The <laughs> best part, he's fucking invisible. You can play as an assassin Argonian, lizard people. <laughs> so he really is fucking invisible. Yep. Oh. Will the pe will the people watching this know what the fuck we're talking about? Like four of them. Maybe. <laughs> this is max difficulty. Your damage is at 75% and their defense is at 125%. No. Max difficulty is when you have 1 HP and they have double, maybe even triple defense. Still too easy. Ugh. Any news on the new Devil May Cry game? Uh... The reboot. I don't pay attention to that shit. So they're really rebooting a video game. Yeah. I mean, I, fuck. I know, right? I spent my morning making sweet tea. <laughs> I need to spend tonight making sweet tea because... Fucking sweet tea, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Link to Weird Al videos. Yes. Oh, that was epic. Oh, yeah. I, I changed the picture settings on my TV. I forgot about that. <laughs> so, Rock Band. And? With friends. She Bizzo. Lies. I'm your only friend. Not even I am your friend. Oh my god, plot twist! <laughs> <laughs> that was you doing an impression of yourself doing an impression of me. <laughs> it was! <laughs> what? <laughs> what, the <laughs> what the fuck, man? So why are you laughing? I don't know. I just don't know anymore. <laughs> oh, God. Speaking of which, uh... That must be scaring I, our viewer. 
I actually, I actually, well, I actually spent a part of yesterday, uh, ma uh making clips of our 1,000th video. Yeah. Uh, I, I believe I titled the file 1,000 video special in six minutes. Nice! <laughs> so, uh, so... I'll upload that to your channel after I upload the thousand video special. Oh, nice! I'll have, but I'll have you. I'll have you watch it first. I'm so fucking excited! <laughs> I'm shaking my hands in excitement. It's actually going to be. I'm so fucking excited. This is not an act. I am really this childish. Ah, bloody hell! <laughs> Now, for those who uh, still like making fun of Naruto, the last line of Blue Collar Man is "Believe it." <laughs> Date Bayo does not equal "Believe it." No. Fucking dub. <laughs> this is the. Uh, Live version from uh, the Rock Live in Rio album. So, like, it's a lot better than the album version. I'll tell you what. What? What? God, is this gonna be the whole cool whip thing? Because that was fucking retarded. Well, I was referencing King of the Hill. <laughs> so they ripped <laughs> something off on the same network? Video game title, uh, plus part N, witty title. The new video game title, plus part N, lame, generic, or ju just flat out unfunny title. That would be more accurate. <laughs> why the hell do I sound, why the hell do I sound like me doing an impression of Edgeworth? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Cause I'm not really trying to match your voice at all, I'm just doing whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Part 41, and now for obligatory DBZ reference number 9001. <laughs> oh. Oh, man. And then, and then you, you went on a rampage on Skype, and my phone was freaking out as a result. <laughs> so you're like, whoa, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Take it easy, man. Oh, man, my chest hurt from laughing so much. <laughs> mm -hmm. Six commentators, five hours, four people trying to speak over each other at once, two ear, three years, two hedgehogs, one epic adventure. This has got to be the single greatest opening to a video game commentary in the history of the universe. <laughs> Sonic 06 2. <laughs> <laughs> well, if Crisis City is in yeah. fucking Sonic Generations... And Sonic 06 was erased from history. Oh. Let's go down the checklist. AVGN knockoff? Check. Half the video is an intro? Check. On Machinima? Oh, that's a check. Yep, this video is shit. And then I compare it to something I hate. <laughs> Never shuts the fuck up? Check. Too many haha -ha gotcha instant death bits? Check. Character boulderization, giant check that spans the entire page. Yep, this game is shit. <laughs> Four, you really went to Team Ninja for story? Really? <laughs> Except that's kind of a common misconception. As Yoshio Sakamoto was the one majorly responsible for the story. Mm. It's kind of sad that a uh, is a studio in Texas 
knows more about the Metroid franchise than one of its creators. Uh -uh. Well, even Yahtzee couldn't find very many faults of the weaker of the two Arkham games. <laughs> Nickel scale. <laughs> Zero punctuation is a ten. Yeah. That still makes you laugh your ass off. Oh, it does. Because it's so true. <coughs> yes, I'm running against the fucking treadmill. Ah, shit. It's like running up the down escalator. <laughs> or, in my experience, falling down the up escalator. What? Yes. And I was You've like, actually done that? I didn't I think like, you were that much of a fucking klutz. <laughs> I tripped and I rolled. <laughs> well, uh, they you shut rolled. it down quickly, so, you know, I, I only rolled for like five no, minutes no. and then rolled to the bottom. No, you rolled for several miles. <laughs> I rolled for eight full days. <laughs> It, it, they, they passed it off as an attraction. I, I got free food from the Dairy Queen in the food court. Or the Orange Julius. As it were. Oh, God damn. I think we're nearing an hour. I don't give a shit. Yeah. I'm not even looking at the fucking Audacity track anymore. I'm <laughs> paying attention just... to my fucking game. Oh. <sighs> well, this is definitely a more, uh, what's the term? Raw. Yeah. Blog. Bulg. This is, blag a blag. This is as live as it fucking gets. Oh. Well, my lungs fucking hurt. So I'm gonna watch some Nun Piece and totally not laugh at it. How? <laughs> I have headphones and you can't you can't hear shit. <laughs> you didn't even make it like fucking two seconds. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> God damn. So today, which is Friday, the 23rd of March in, two, in the year 2012, they uploaded new Team 4 Starbridge, new Nun Piece, and an Ashens video. Fuck yeah! Eh, just clip through me. Who cares? Hooray for clipping! Speaking of which, I should shave down my sideburns. Said the Joker to the thief. The flare beamer, as I like to call it, moon prism power. <laughs> There's no way it can be that broken. That's pretty broken, alright. Dude, I used to fucking watch Sailor Moon all the time <laughs> as a kid. But I would, like, never talk to anyone about it, because I was embarrassed that they'd think I'd be watching a girl show. So to balance it out, I'd watch, like, Transformers or some <laughs> shit. <laughs> no, you balance that out by fucking watching Megas XLR, man. Well, I was about... I, no, Megas XLR came out in, what, like, 2003? Oh, so that was after. Yeah. I see. Dude, I oh, have Megas XLR on my computer, which is currently broke. It's not on Netflix. It was on iTunes, which is how I got it, but it's not on Netflix. Which, we get Netflix for free, apparently, so... Wow. 
Because we canceled our service, but they didn't cancel the service, so we're going to use it. Uh, we're not going to tell anybody about it. <laughs> Netflix doesn't know who the, who this account belongs to. Well, and even if they did, I'm not on this account. This is nope. your video. Even though you do make frequent appearances. Yes. <laughs> I'm that guy. <clears throat> that guy that does a thing. My co-commentary brings all the bitches to the yard and they're like, shut up, shut the hell up. Damn right, <laughs> shut the hell up. Oh my god. Was that legitimately funny? Slightly. I can't even tell anymore. He ruins his own joke. It's, li it's like, are your typos on purpose or by accident. We don't even know anymore. <laughs> really? Like, half the shit I do, I don't know whether or not it was on purpose. Cut the view. Derp. Derp. I forgot the words. <laughs> and then I stopped singing. Because you forgot the words. <laughs> Makes sense. <clears throat> I'm just like any other guy. I pay my taxes one leg at a time. Oh my god, I'm already quoting a Team Four Star video that came out today! <laughs> What the fuck? God damn. You know how I spent my day today? I was driving all fucking day today, filling out job applications. God damn it, I hate driving. If I had the choice between driving and playing Sonic 06, I would put Sonic 06 in the car and push the car off a cliff so I could watch them both burn as they hit the ground. Indeed. Oh, God damn it, it's like 11 o'clock. I'll make sweet tea tomorrow morning. <laughs> Fuck it. Well, while watching Saturday morning cartoons. Because you're never too old for Saturday morning cartoons. Of course. Oh. It's kind of jarring when my music goes from Jimi Hendrix to Dream Theater. Hmm. Well, I think I've run out of random bullshit. How did I survive that fight? Holy crap. Luck. Once uh, again, a sliver of health left. Dramatic fighting. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't even notice. I mean, I I knew I was low on health. But I'm just like that's a freaking tiny little sliver. Scratch damage would kill me at this point. What are you playing? Kirby's Return to Dreamland. Ah, how is it? It's pretty fun. Have you not been watching the playthrough? I have. He lied. Because he lied through his fucking teeth and the person on the <laughs> really? other side of the internet knows it. <laughs> I'm not exactly deceptive. <laughs> I wear my emotions on my sleeves. And my Just sleeves like are pretty your heart. fucking short. <laughs> I don't know what... what and, it, and, it's, and it's on a shirt that says, I went to a fight and a hockey game broke out. <laughs> yep. I used to live in Colorado. In Colorado Did you say you were like wearing that? Uh, uh, you were wearing that to all your uh, yes places all you were day. getting job, uh, job applications. In Florida, I, I was wearing this shirt. It has a hockey mask on it. And it looks kind of brutal. <laughs> I was just doing that because fuck, I wasn't thinking. Because what else is new? Of course, I really don't pay attention to what I wear. So. 
if anybody out there knows the uh, series Two Best Friends Play on Machinima, that's they some... damn well better. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the last week's episode was uh, them going through some more Xbox Live indie games. This week's episode was Mass Effect 3, wasn't it? Yes, it was. I could not get through that. <laughs> you can't get through that episode? No. Nope. Of course, I've only tried like once. <laughs> Though, uh... There's rumors that uh, that some of the DLC for Mass Effect 3 will be like, what if Mass Effect 3 didn't have a fucking disappointing ending? Yeah, I heard that its ending sucked. <laughs> what? Though, I'm not sure whether or not it sucked because it legitimately sucked, or it sucked because it wasn't what fans were expecting. Probably both. It's little definitely not what fans a, were expecting. Call B. Uh, I'm gonna look it up. Looking up the ending, because I don't really give a shit. You don't really give a shit. I, I type in Mass. First thing that on uh, suggestions. Mass Effect 3 ending. <laughs> Bioware to change Mass Effect 3 ending. I just I want to know. I just want to know what the actual ending is. Yeah. How Mass Effect 3 ends. And and then um, H-I-S-H-E dot com should release how, uh, how Mass Effect 3 should have ended. I don't want to watch a video for it. I, I, I find Mass Effect Wiki. <laughs> Wiki. You're that fucking lazy, dude. I don't want to sift through all these reactions to it. Three <laughs> ending. And of course, be, it's not be, this, give would, away. this would be like uh, Nintendo making DLC for Other M, saying, "What if Samus Aran actually decided to keep her personality of shutting the fuck up?" God damn it! How does Mass Effect Three end? Jeez. There, Yahoo Answers. That's obviously the best place to right. go. Mega spoilers, if you care about the video game series, either skip this part or stop watching the video. I don't give a shit. Uh, more or less, none of the choices you made the series matter. All the things you do change at the end is who you see fighting in the final space battles and the way... So basically, they made one ending and... Rather than uh, uh, adjust for uh, rather than adjust doing. for the players' choices, because which have been going the whole fucking trilogy, dude. Choices in the fucking first game were supposed to affect the third game all the way through. But anyway, uh, you get three choices: kill all the synthetics in the ga galaxy, all the Reapers, guests, AI, make the Reapers get die. You know, by staying away forever. Hmm. Uh, Citadel, network and Citadel isn't destroyed, Shepard dies. Or merge machines and living all over the galaxy, reprogram Reapers so that they leave, and somehow all organic life is partially combined with machines, because that fucking makes sense! That totally works. And all three endings, you get stuck on an unknown world and die. Although, now you have a partially mechanical body. What the fuck? That's a terrible ending. <laughs> I mean, even I think Mass Effect deserved a better ending than that. <laughs> Especially the merge organics and technology. That see, that feels so much like a cop out. I can understand why people are so mad about the endings now. <laughs> huh? Well, that's it for Mass Effect Three spoilers. <laughs> Oh, wow. Not spoil Arkham City. No. <laughs> Don't you dare fucking do that.
I will. I'm a nice guy. He lied through his teeth. <laughs> he, he's going to have to hold it in for probably another six months, at least. We fucking stole that joke from Ashens. Like, we stole every one of our other jokes. He lied. Ugh. I, I, I was going through a fucking notebook that I had in high school. Really? Yeah. And, and I wrote, like, scripts and shit. And I would have the narrator say, are there any original jokes on this show? <laughs> I got rid of all my notebooks from high school. Like, I bur- I personally burned them. <laughs> Did that when I left middle school, too. What, you didn't want to be reminded of the, the horrors? Yeah. I hate middle school. Bioware, God, Bioware could out. not have, like, put in that ending and not expect any backdraft. Well, any ending they were going to have would have a bit of backdraft, but fuck. Those endings are just terrible. I mean, even with what, it, what little I know, they they don't really... Because basically, it confines the entire Mass Effect universe to that one story, which kind of which is con- which is contradictory to the trilogy up to that point, and the well, the entire genre. Yeah, the space opera genre is everything's awesome, everything's big, but the and the story is just the story in a larger universe. <coughs> it's like if Square Enix released DLC for Final Fantasy 13 and it was like, what if Final Fantasy 13 wasn't a fucking 40 hour slog through a single hallway? I was going to say, they released DLC for Final Fantasy 13 and it's like, well, if Final Fantasy 13 was good. <laughs> It's like they release DLC for uh, Sonic Unleashed, and it's like, what if Sonic Unleashed didn't uh, oh, didn't have the fucking Werehog? Which Werehog doesn't make sense. No, it doesn't. I saw that video. Because Were means wolf. No, Were means man. <clears throat> so man wolf. Yes. True. Where it is sad that I have only watched that video once, and I, I can still correct you on it. Yeah, you can correct me on a lot of things, but that's not going to change the fact that we're referencing something the viewer has probably never seen, <laughs> and that I don't even remember what the video was. That was uh, Zero Punctuation, Sonic Unleashed. Right. I don't watch Zero Punctuation as religiously as I watch other stuff. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, my throat's cut now. <laughs> and such. And it's 11. I need to uh, <clears throat> be up tomorrow to make sweet tea. Of course. So I think I'm going to say this is it. This is, our fir- this is the end of our first conversation blog. <laughs> Have this like a new fucking separate playlist. You know, this is how I'll get to a thousand videos. Yeah. <laughs> if, I if I can't, if I can't fucking, is if I can't fucking record video game stuff. And we said in the past that if we just upload these random conversations. Well, I was thinking you could do a buffer, a video, a buffer type thing, but the format really doesn't allow for that. No. 
Because you really don't upload with a schedule. You just no. upload when you. I just shit. upload whenever I have stuff to upload. I don't follow traditional LP rules of having one upload per day. You were trying to limit your uploads per day for a while there, weren't you? Yeah, because, uh... You know how Deceased Crab, like, used to upload, like, two videos per day? He has to be uploading less. There is no longer a ten-minute time limit. <laughs> Hell, even the 15-minute time limit should have pulled him back. <laughs> Did they just abolish the time limit at all? You know, entirely? Uh, pretty much. Like, unless... You know, I say unless, and then I'm gonna say something, and then someone's gonna correct me because the fucking policy on it changes every four nanoseconds. Really? It's like, it's, they have a computer program to fuck with the policy. Yes. It's Google. <laughs> they're, they're using the search engine to fuck with their YouTube policies. Because <laughs> that makes sense. I don't... <laughs> fuck yeah, I don't... I don't even... I don't finish my sentences. I don't even... I remember that that used to be a thing where I just kind of trail off, but... I don't know, I don't do that as much anymore, do I? No... Except when you're just kind of... Unless I'm playing a video game. Yeah. Which I'm currently not. No, you, you, <coughs> I, guess, I guess that makes sense, because you, you kind of trail off whenever you were, like, doing the playthrough thing. Yes. Well, I think I... You know what? Fuck it. Co-comment... Post... Post co-commentary from now on. That's how I'm gonna do it. <laughs> You're gonna rope me into every single one of your <laughs> fucking LPs. Yes. <laughs> when I start uploading again. Which will be in the year 2047. Well, and by then computer... we'll be old crones, like... Welcome to the fucking Final Fantasy 376 playthrough. 2047 would put me at 55. <laughs> anyway, um, once I get a new computer, I can start back up again with the uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon recording. Well then, actually continue that beyond four parts. Yeah. <laughs> I might actually be able to complete something for once. And uh, we can see you. F uh, we can see you fail some more in micromanaging. Yeah, <laughs> you should watch me play Dwarf Fortress. It's terrible. <laughs> Micromanage. Oh. What's that? I. D <laughs> oh, that wasn't even a sentence. <laughs> that was the start of a word, and then coughing. <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah. I like that. All right. I, I, this this really has to be it, because I've hit the wall. You've hit the wall. So this has been Prometheus MFD. And Jeebus 049 for no particular reason other than why the fuck not. To upload something. And... Because one of us has to. <laughs> so, yeah. Stuff. That's kind of how our conversations end. So, <laughs> it yeah. It just trails off. And then we start up a new one when we discuss it. Uh, well, I guess that's the nature of conversation. God damn it, Prometheus, stop! I almost said my name. <laughs>